Automation is all about making people more efficient. Automation is all about freeing people from mundane tasks. Automation saves organizations time. Save time is save money. Automation is what FME Server is all about. Here you will see just one way in which FME Server's real-time capability brings new levels of automation turning manual tasks into simple, automated self-service tasks. Here we show how FME Server's real-time capability turns simple drag-and-drop into a gateway for data transformation services. For the demos here, I am using Dropbox. The technique, however, can be used with Dropbox, Microsoft SkyDrive, Google Drive, or any cloud sync service. If you're an organization with a shared file system, then the same workflow could be set up using a shared folder. With this technique, users are no longer concerned with the mundane task of uploading files to a server and then explicitly running the transformation task. This is now all done automatically through the combination of cloud file sync technology and the new real-time capabilities of FME Server. Engaging this service is a simple as dragging and dropping a file. Here I'm going to drag and drop a DWG file and my service has been set up to automatically convert this file into shape. So let's look at those shape files. There's the files, so there you go. Drag and drop to shape. What if I want to decide what format to go to at the time I drop the file? As you know, FME supports a great number of different data types in an ever-growing number of formats. Turns out that this data service is up to that challenge. The only thing I need to do first is create a directory with the name of the format I want to go out to. So in this case I'm going to say I want to go out to PDF2D. I'm going to grab the same file, copy it to that directory. This file is going to be translated into PDF and again all the user had to do was drag and drop. That's how you can use this capability to go from any format to any other format that FME supports simply by using drag and drop. What I have done here is create a quality assurance service. This service is triggered in exactly the same way that we saw previously. The user simply creates a directory. In this case the directory name is QA parcel check. The user can now drag and drop files onto this directory. So in this case you will see again there's the files I dragged on, here is the output and you can see for the two files uploaded I have the results of the QA check for the user to see where the data is good and where the data has problems.